hurts. This one hurts. The game was a battle. They came out and did exactly what they were supposed to do. Like I said, we'll take the time to ourselves and get ready for whoever's next. Heartbreak in the Coliseum. After leading the late in the fourth quarter, NC State has an ACC tournament title ripped from their hands. The Wolfpack started off the hot in the ACC championship game against Notre Dame. Let's get you right out there for the highlights. Saniya Rivers got the scoring started. How about the mid-range jumper? Then very next possession, Mimi Collins for the corner. Three, the count it, stayed out in front early. But the fighting Irish didn't stay down long. Hannah Hidalgo drives, kicks it to Sonia Citron. She had Notre Dame's first seven points. Notre Dame out in front, but freshman Zoe Brooks hits the jumper. It's a three-point game at the half. Third quarter, though, was all the pack. Feed me, River Baldwin. She led the way with 14 points. They got the ball to her on purpose and on accident. How about from River to Rivers in the fourth? Sonia Rivers, quick hands down the court. She goes, a little picks her pocket and gets the points. Stayed up by six in the fourth. But this is where things start to go south. Hidalgo to Maddie Westbelt for three. Westbelt again ties the game. Notre Dame finished on a 12-2 run in the final. 6-44, NC State loses 55-51. Here's Chris Lee in Greensboro with your reaction. Casey, NC State missed out on what would have been their eighth ACC title here in Greensboro. With seven minutes left in the game, Zoe Brooks made a jumper to put the pack up 49 to 43. And after that, they went cold, going one for nine from the field, while the Irish railed off a 12 to two run to end the contest. And of course, they won 55 to 51. But all hope is not lost. Even with the immediate emotional sting of losing an ACC championship game, the pack knows they still have more basketball left. We're leaving all our feelings here. Um, we're going to just recovery, first of all, watch film and look what we did this game and not let it happen next game. Going forward, we just have to put these 40 minutes together, you know. Um, we'll learn from it. We'll feel the pain now, take a few days to ourselves, and then come back and get ready for the tournament. The good news is we still have an opportunity ahead of us, and. Um, hopefully we can take advantage of that. And to go along with that theme, PAC senior Madison Hayes said after the game that they're going to get ready for their fans, all 5,500 of them who will be at Reynolds Coliseum once they start the NCAA tournament. She said that they have to do it for themselves and for the Wolfpack fans who will be there to support them through the big dance. Casey?